Right, this will go to Cynthia first. What specifically would you do to prevent hydrofracking in our state parks and forests? Hydrofracking has been talked about this evening already. So there's many, many issues on the table when it comes to hydrofracking. I've attended several seminars on the subject, one of which took place several months back in my own Wyoming County. There's 520 gas wells being fracked in western New York as we speak. I, I believe most of them are vertical, but we hydrofrack in Morton Salt, but we use water. The issue with hydrofracking is the propent. The propent that we don't know what it is. We don't know what the substances are. In some cases, the substances have been declared to be benzene, which is poisonous. So the issue there is how they're doing it and what they're using. We have, again, I must reiterate, the best farmland almost in the whole United States. We have the best water supply in New York State, right here. We need to protect that water supply at all costs. Water is our life's blood. And in an economic and agribusiness community, that is the most important item that we need to talk about. What I would do to prevent hydrofracking would be to make sure that the moratorium on hydrofracking stands and that it continues to stand until we exactly know what we're dealing with, how it's going to affect us, how it's going to affect our children, how it's going to affect our water supply. In this climate, I know farmers are looking for ways to preserve their family farms, but we need to consider the greater picture here, and we need to make sure that if we move forward with anything, that it is safe for us, for our families, for our children, and for our future to do that. Hydrofracking is now an issue in New York State because of the Marcellus Shale, which is, the northern end of it is in the southern tier, and potentially is an economic boom. But we can't pursue the economic part of it, and we can't pursue the jobs part of it. And, and all of the, the people that it will bring to Western New York and the positive influence on the economy without making sure that it's safe. Two regulatory agencies are looking at it right now, both the EPA and the DEC. The DEC is expected to issue a report on and ultimately, whether through their studies they believe that it's state and safe and what the proper regulations should be. If we can ensure the safety of our citizens, the safety of our water supply and our parks and forests, then I'd be in favor. If we can't do that, then I'm opposed to it. Talk to many people down. It's in northern Pennsylvania and southern New York State where it's, and it's become an issue as you get farther out in the district towards the Finger Lakes. It's not as much of an issue here in western New York, but it does affect all of us. Two things with hydrofracking. The benzene's become a real issue down in northern Pennsylvania because it's contaminated, uh, I don't know how many hundred square mile water supply. It tells us the technology isn't 100% there for this, for, for hydrofracking. Yes, there's a but the reason they're doing it, obviously, let's follow the money. It's the money, people. This is big, hundreds of millions of dollar industry, billion dollar industry. Do they cut corners? I think they do. What happens with all that energy that comes out of New York State? Do you know that over 80% of it is going elsewhere, out of our state? That's not what I would be for. If the technology is there to extract that energy, it's going to stay here in New York State, 80% of it, minimum. How about the towns it's in? It's just sort of, it, I look at it sort of the wind power issue, especially out in the different counties with wind power. That energy leaves, leaves the state, a lot of it, or goes down to New York City. We need to keep the energy up here. We live next to the hydropower plant in Niagara Falls. It's the number one electric generator in the country. And we pay the highest electric rates in the country right here in Western New York. It's upside down. Come on. Let's take that power. I would take that Niagara power plant, same with the hydrofracking, take the energy that comes out of there and distribute it to New York State people in upstate New York, give businesses a 50% cut in their energy bills, make it more competitive for them to do business. My bills are killing me. Why? We live next to the biggest electric plant in the country. 
It's all about the big money. And I'll be the one that'll actually stand up to it.